Hi there, Eric Tars here again with day four of the CERT experience. Uh, today was an amazing day for me personally. Uh, I was able to arrange a meeting with uh, some of the groups with the UN Special Rapporteur on Adequate Housing, um, who's another member like the uh, Special Rapporteur on Racism who we met on Tuesday. And it's one of the reasons that shows why it's so important for us to be here in Geneva where we have access to these top-level UN officials who will just sit down in a meeting with us and talk about the issues we need to talk about. Um, the outcome of that meeting was that the Special Rapporteur has agreed to issue a, a statement supporting uh, the victims of the evictions that are happening right now and the destruction of public housing in New Orleans. Um, and he asked for our support in helping him to draft a statement about that. And, um, and this, is, this is what it's all about here in Geneva. Um, we also had a great briefing with the CERD committee again today. Uh, the, a lot of the members were there. Again, this is very important because they're not required to be there. And they were all asking questions and showing a lot of interest in the, the group's uh, messages. Uh, for example, one of them specifically asked about felony disenfranchisement and what level uh, people can have their right to vote taken away. Um, and uh, one of the attorneys here explained that in some states, like Kentucky, for even possessing a small amount of marijuana, you can have your right to vote taken away for life. The committee member, we saw him up at the front of the room just shaking his head so we know that he's getting how serious the problem is and we know that he's going to hold the U.S. accountable for us uh, later today, or uh, tomorrow. Um, and then this evening we had two great panels, one on indigenous rights and one on economic and social and cultural rights where people were again giving their testimonies, sharing their stories, and you could see the solidarity being built in the room as people told their heartfelt stories and um, just really made it clear why we are all part of the same movement, building a human rights movement here in the United States. So again, another great day. I hope uh, you're enjoying these, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks.